It's a Gosport charity shop and Poundland Hall. Ahoy hoy everybody and yesterday I've been to Gosport, spent a couple of hours there, about an hour going round the charity shops. So I bit me lip and it's really right in the wrong place, it's really bugging me. So it's better with me if I'm doing funny things with my mouth. Um, yeah, I spent about an hour going round the charity shops and then about an hour in the Slice of Vinyl, the record shop. Um, so bought quite a bit so I'll split this over two videos. So first up we got what I bought in the charity shops and Poundland. I shall try and group these by shop and tell you how much they were but they have got a bit muddled up in the bag so it might not be quite possible. Um, for, first up I'll show you what I've got in Poundland because it's on the top even though it was the last thing I visited before I went to the record shop. Uh, three Blu-rays, £2 each as usual from there. Um, it, it, sorry this is really annoying me. <laughs> um, this is the remake of Robocop. I know this isn't any good but I haven't seen it and it's been on my wish list for ages and out of curiosity for £2 I'll pick it up. Uh, Brotherhood, so obviously everything that's going on around Noel Clark at the moment it seems you know it's too much smoke for there to be no fire um, um, however I can sort of, I can separate the art from the artist if you like to an extent I've got kiddlehood and adulthood both of which I really like so I've been wanting to pick up brotherhood for a while anyway so for two pounds I grabbed it and finally The Town, Ben Affleck's film, which is apparently quite good. So pick that one up for £2. So yes, that was what I got in Poundland. Okay, I, the first one I went in was Cancer Research, which I don't go in that often because they don't do vinyl, although they did have a box of 7 inches, but there was nothing in there that I wanted. Because I decided today I was going to be looking at DVDs and Blu-rays as well as music, I thought I'd pop in there and I picked And they were doing uh, buy one get one free on physical media. Um, it was meant to be cheapest items free but I definitely haven't done, she definitely didn't do that because she only charged me three pounds and three of these were one pound fifty and one of these was two pound. So it should have been £3.50. Anyway, so I picked up Eddie Izzard 7, which is seven of his live shows on DVD. I don't have any of his live shows. I like Eddie, but I've always been reluctant to get his live shows because I don't, I don't know that I like him that much. But for £2, I had to grab that. And then on CD, uh, Badly Drawn Boys, Have You Fed the Fish? I have his latest album, um, Banana Skin Shoes, is it? Something like that. And I have the About a Boy soundtrack. I do like Damon Goff a fair bit. So I thought I'd pick this one up. Not sure I know any of the tracks on it. I might recognise them when I hear them. The case is a bit buggered, but for £1.50. Who cares? Um, I didn't check the discs on these. Yeah, it's spotless, so that's all right. Uh, Alanis Morissette's uh, something to do with rugs, under rug swept. I, one of my colleagues at work when I worked at the post office, was an Alanis Morissette fan too, and bought this album and she lent it to me and I ripped it to iTunes from that copy, but never had my own physical copy. So. Pick that one up again, would have been one pound fifty, but this I was charged three pounds for all four of these. And finally, later with Jules Holland live CD. Uh, I don't know if these are live versions from a TV show. That's, uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I think they are. Uh, two CD set, lots of good stuff on here. Arctic Monkeys with Brian Storm, Amy Winehouse, Tear Dry on Their Own, Kate Nash, who 
most of you know I'm a big fan of Foundations, Kaiser Chiefs Ruby, Katie Dunstall Black Horse and a Cherry Tree, Niles Barkley Crazy, oh lots and lots and lots, I can't read them all. There you are, you can pause that if you want to have a read. Uh, that was there. Then I went round to um, British Heart Foundation and I picked up these. Okay, then I went to uh, British Heart Foundation and there was a guy looking at the physical media whilst I was, when I got there. So I hung off a bit, but they had a um, spinner with loads of DVDs and Blu-rays on as well. And on there I found Midnight Tango, which was a stage show done by Vincent Simone and Flavia Cacace, Strictly Come Dancing Dancers. This has been on my Amazon wish list for ages. This was two pounds for Blu-ray. Um, I didn't check it, but I'm sure it's fine yet. I did have seen one of their later shows in person. And then I saw the show that Vincent did with Ian Waite in 2019 and met him then. But yeah, that was a, a happy find. Uh, and then three CDs for a pound each. Uh, Travis's The Boy With No Name, which has just been reissued on vinyl. Uh, I had to check and I, I didn't think I did and I was right. I didn't have this one. I've got most of Travis's albums, but didn't have this one. Uh, a few tracks on there that were hits. Closer. Two bonus hidden tracks and exclusive audio and video content. But yeah, spotless disc. So that's Travis's The Boy, who, Boy With No Name. Uh, Bare Naked Ladies Stunt. This has got one week on it, which obviously was a huge hit. Uh, my friend Adrian is a big fan of Bare Naked Ladies. That's Adrian who's been sending me vinyl. Uh, thought I'd pick this up for a pound. See what all the fuss is about. But I loved one week. And a Snow Patrol album. I've got a couple of theirs, but not many. So I picked this up for a pound. Eyes open. Uh, it's got Chasing Cars on it. Is the biggie on this. Uh, then from there I went round to Scope. And picked up, picked up a few bits in Scope. Uh, vinyl. DVD and CDs. Uh, so CDs, I picked up The Feelings Together We Were Made. So I have two of their albums but didn't have this one. This has got Set My World On Fire. <sighs> See in my head I've got this. <laughs> Looking at the track listing. But I've st I looked on Discogs and it wasn't on there. I might already have this. But it was a pound. Uh, Khaleesi's Kaleidoscope. Uh, which has got Caught Out There on it. You know, the I Hate You So Much Right Now song. But I like Khalees. I've got an other stuff of hers. Uh, on DVD, series one of The Catherine Tate Show. Is that scope? Yeah, there we are. Stop doubting it. Um... Sorry, I'm doubting. Yeah, they might very well. Let's ignore it. Uh, yes, series one of the Catherine Tate show. Long bit, had all the series of this on my wish list, but never got around to picking them up. So, for a pound. Oh, get that. There's quite a few series that I was tempted by in the various shops, but they were like, you know, they had C series three there when I didn't have any. And any series I want to sort of... If I can't get a complete box set, I want to start at the beginning and work my way up. No, this is sealed with tape, so I can't check it. And also from there, Sarah Millican, Control Enthusiast Live. Uh, I have two or three of her live DVDs, but I don't have this one. So this was from... I can't see the date on it. But yeah. Oh, 20, 2018. So yeah, happy to pick that up. Uh, a seven inch picture disc for two pounds. Danny Minogue's Jump to the Beat. Uh, part two of your picture disc set. So not really the sort of era of Danny that I'm a big fan of. I like her later stuff from Girl Onwards. But if 
thought that's a nice thing to have anyway. Uh, wrong time of year completely, but Christmas in Badilly Bay with Kid Creole and the Coconuts. Dear Addy, Christmas on Riverside Drive, No Fish Today, which is on Tropical Gangsters, and Yolanda Remix, which is on off the coast of me. So, yeah, a uh, little compilation with one Christmassy track, really. But, uh, well, 12 inch. But, yeah, really good condition. I did check all the vinyl that I bought from the charity shops first. That was a pound. And then this was also a pound. Uh, the best of Silla Black. Proper EMI parlophone release. It's not a uh, you know, music for pleasure or anything like that. From 1960 something. Eight probably. Yeah, original slave definitely. Original inner. So I like Silla Black's music. Her voice at times can irritate me but by and large this is mint no oh, near near mint one very light mark on it but it's remarkable quality for a 50 plus year old album uh but it's got love of a love written by lennon and mccartney anyone who had a heart you're my world a cover of you lost that loving feeling alfie step inside love Yesterday, it's for you. So, yeah, glad to pick that up. Um, yeah, so that was scope. Then I went round to uh, RSPCA, but they didn't have. It. No, I went round to Salvation Army first, and in the Salvation Army, I picked up nearly everything else that I've got here. So they were. Uh, CDs and DVDs were five for a pound. They didn't have any DVDs that I wanted, but I picked up five CDs. So I've got the Ordinary Boys self titled album. Uh, so this has got, I think, Boys Will Be Boys, which is the last track, which I couldn't find it, which was their big hit. Uh, I have their sort of comeback album. I bought a signed copy of that when it came out, but I liked. I like to be ordinary boys, so I'll pick that up. Uh, a two CD compilation, the Awards 1992. So this is a Brit Awards album. Um, I have quite a few Brit Awards albums. Didn't have this one, and Prince is on it. Uh, what's on here? Oh, Cream was on here. But really good. You know, I've got a lot of this anyway. But I've got some of my favourite bands on here: Queen, Dire Straits, Prince, uh, Extreme. And then lots of other stuff that I like as well. That's the track listing. So I did check the discs on those just in case. Um, these I might not have picked up normally, but since they're five, you know, twenty p each. Uh, Nora Jones come away with me. I've always quite liked the songs that were hits from this. So yeah, for twenty p, thought I'd pick it up. And whilst I was at it, feels like home. And then. The Case and Miss is filthy, but I checked the disc and it's fine. Uh, and this is No Doubt's Tragic Kingdom. I have No Doubt Best Of, but I don't have Tragic Kingdom, so for 20p. And then on vinyl, these are all a pound each. Uh, Ultravox for the collection. This is near mint. A few dents on my sleeve, but pretty clean. Um, inner sleeve is perfect. And the vinyl, again, I checked it there, but I'll check it again, that, that's mint. Apart from a bit of dust, that has nothing on it whatsoever. So I wouldn't probably have bought this in a record shop. I, I don't mind Ultravox. I have a Mid Yours album where he did orchestrated versions of Ultravox and solo songs. But yeah, for a pound, in that condition, you know, it's got Dancing With Tears In My Eyes, Him, Vienna, Reap The Wild Wind, Lament, you know, some good stuff on there. This, for a pound, I mean, it's, it's a bit beat up, but not terrible. Uh, now that's what I call music 10. 
Uh, where's the blacklist in? You know, this is really my sort of era. 90, what? 87 even. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, yeah, lots of really good stuff on here. And My Pretty One by Good Richard. Um, but yeah, I've, you know, I saw the track listing and for, for a pound, that's something I will happily listen to repeatedly. Um, for some reason, the record was not in the inner sleeve, but it's got some marking on it. But I don't think it's anything that's going to affect play on that one. Let's put that in the inner sleeve. But the inner sleeve's got a bit bent because it was trapped around the spine. There's a gatefold. And so I think somebody must have checked it and then just slipped it straight in rather than back into the sleeve. But this one. Yeah, that one's pretty much immaculate. Golden hits a Dusty Springfield. Again, pound. Like Dusty a lot, I have a few of her albums on CD. And looks at the track listing on this. I only want to be with you, I just don't know what to do with myself. Uh, wishing and hoping. You don't have to say you love me. Little by little. A few others as well. Worth picking up. Again. Uh, except I've just realised, that'll teach me not to look properly. <laughs> it's the wrong album in there. Bugger. Inside is 24 Golden Greats of the 60s. Uh, KTEL album. This is actually quite a bit marked. I didn't spot this in the shop as well. Oh well. I'll play the album and see what it's like. But that's a shame. I'll have to look out for another Dusty Greatest Hits. And also from uh, for Pound, the Hits album 10. Again, I sort of looked at the track listing, had a quick glance. There's a fair bit in there that I like for Pound. You know, it's got Bangles Eternal Flame, uh, Cold Cut featuring Lisa Sandsville, People Hold On, Four Tops Indestructible, Boy Meets Girl Waiting for Star to Fall, Fuzzbox Pink Sunshine, De La Soul, Me, Myself and I, uh, Michael Mechanics Living Years, I know it's a bit schmaltzy but I like it, uh, Guns N' Roses Sweet Child of Mine, Roachford Cuddly Toy, and some other stuff. I don't mind and some other stuff that I don't particularly like, but it was a pound. You know, it might come in handy if I do quizzes again. Some of these tracks, that's pretty much immaculate. Apart from a bit of dirt, you know, dust and what have you. Yeah, again. Perfect. Oh, that's a shame about that Dusty Springfield one. Uh, but that's my own fault. I should have checked. Properly. I did glance at it. That's, but, but never mind. Um, yeah, so then I went to the RSPCA. The only vinyl they had, they had a big box of Shellac 78s so that were £5 each or near offer. But I didn't even bother looking at those because they wouldn't be stuff I wanted to pick up. Uh, there was somebody looking at the physical media, so I sort of stood back and sort of looked around her and I couldn't spot anything on the DVDs that I wanted. She was going through the CDs and I couldn't really see them, but I couldn't be asked to wait, basically. So I skipped on and finally went to... Oh, I can never remember what that one is. Let me see, that would tell me. I don't think I even got a receipt from them. No, I can't remember. If I work it out, I'll put it on the screen 
which charity shop it was. Uh, no albums I wanted. Plenty of albums there, but it was all proper charity shop fodder. You know, Mantovani and stuff like that. And then CDs. There was one I would have picked up. I can't remember what it was now, but the, the disc didn't look great. But I did pick up Gabriella Chilmi's Lessons to be Learned album. This has got Sweet About Me on it. Okay, so that was Charity Shops and Poundland. Uh, I think altogether that lot cost me maybe 20 quid tops. That's not bad going, is it? Um, and then I went round to Kieran and Slice of Vinyl. I had a new release to pick up and went through the racks and picked up a fair bit as well there. And you can see that on the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on that video. Cheers. Bye.